Hey, what's up guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play The First Cut is the Deepest by Sheryl Crow. The song only has three chords, but it's got a few different sections. I'm going to break down the whole thing from the beginning to the end. But before we get into it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for the support here on the channel. It really helps out the channel just hitting the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you're subscribed. We've got new video lessons dropping every single day on the channel that are really gonna help out your playing. All right, let's get into it. First off, I'm gonna show you the three chords you need to play the whole song. The first chord is D. We're gonna play from the D string down, open, then first finger on the second fret of the G string, third finger on the third fret of the B string, and second finger on the second fret of the high E. It's gonna be our D chord, and the song's in the key of D, it's gonna start and end on this chord. Then we're gonna to go to a G. And the way I play G is from the E string down, we've got the third fret, and then mute the A string, open D, open G, and then third fret on the B string, and third fret on the high E. Now a lot of people play it with your first finger down, you can do that as well on the second fret but most of the time I play it like this. And then the last chord we need is A. We'll play from the A string down. You can play open A, second finger on the second fret, first finger on the second fret of the G string, and then third finger on the second fret of the B string, open E. Now you could play it like this, or you could just use one finger to bar. Again, all of these are cool. However, really you want to play D, G, A, if you want to do it one finger or this, it's all good. But those are the chords that we need. All right, the intro starts off like this. So here's what I'm doing is I'm playing two beats on the D chord like this. One, two, and then I go to the G, but this time I'm going to just play the bass note. I'm going to play the third fret of the low E, then dip back to the second fret, then back to the third fret, and then open A. And then I'm going to go to the A chord. So it's like one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three. Four, then that whole second bar is just an A chord with downs drums. Two, three, four. So that's the intro progression, then we're gonna repeat it again. We're also gonna use this for the guitar solo as well and the pre-chorus. So we're gonna play it twice, here's the intro. A one, two, three, and four, and Two, three, four, again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three. Then we go to the verse. The verse is going to play the chords D for two beats, then A for two beats, then G for two beats, then A for two beats. Now I think in the verse, actually, I would recommend using your first finger for the A chord. And we're gonna do some arpeggio picking like this. Now if this is too hard, you can just go one, two, and just keep it strumming. But let me show you that pattern. These are eighth notes. I'm playing the D string on the D chord, and then the G string, then the high E, then the B string. One and two and, and I'm just going down, down, up, up. And then I'm gonna go to the A chord, play the A string, then the D string, then the B string, then the G string, again with down, down, up, up. Then I'll go to G and play the low E string to the D string, B string, G string. 
and then go back to A, same pattern as before. So I want to make sure that I'm hitting those roots on the down beats, right? So it's one and two and three. do that progression four times for the verse. Here's the last time. Then we do the intro, but just half of it like this. And then we go into the chorus. So that's a little pre-chorus section there. One, two, three, and four. So I'm just stealing that from the intro, and then I stay on that A, and that's going to build us into the chorus. Then the chorus goes like this. So, so coming out of the pre-chorus. One, two, three, four. The first chord is the D. So for the chorus, I basically play the same progression as the verse, but with a strum. I'm going one, two, and a three, and four, and a one, and two, and a three, and four. So basically I'm going a, a quarter note down strum, one, and then another down, then a down up, like this. One, and two, and a one, and two, and a three, and then I go to the next chord. Three, and and a one and two. Now, the progression is the same as the verse, but we only play it three times instead of four times. So remember in the verse, we're going and doing this kind of thing. And the chorus is just We'll do it three times. So this is the second time, and here's the third time. Then we go. We do that intro part with one extra bar, two, three, four of A, and then back to verse two. So then we go back, we do everything all over again. We play chorus two, but this time, instead of going back to the verse after chorus two, we go to a guitar solo. And the guitar solo is the same as the intro progression. So here's what it sounds like going out of chorus two into the solo. One, two, three, four. Here's the solo and play the intro part. We do the intro twice for the solo. And then we do a breakdown back to verse 3. So this is going to go back to the arpeggio part. We'll play verse 3, same as we did verse 1. Then we kick into the chorus, but before we hit the chorus, the pre-chorus this last time has a slight change. We're going to hold the A again for one extra bar like this. <laughs> choruses and then we end with the intro like this one more time end on 
Andy. There you go, you guys. The first cut is the deepest by Cheryl Crow. I hope you get some value out of this lesson and you're able to put the different sections together. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Make sure you're subscribed. We've got new video lessons dropping every single day. Also, if you want to follow along with me on Instagram as well and the other social media links. I'll leave them below. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you're interested in playing some more lead like what I was doing at the beginning of this video, I've got another gift for you, a free PDF that you can get in the link below that's all about soloing. It's over a hundred pages long. You can get that for free just by signing up for the newsletter. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in another video real soon.